A very warm welcome to you. Thank you for joining us in this tutorial. And in this tutorial, we are going to be learning how to make a perfect size YouTube banner using Canva. Here, I'm on my YouTube channel and you notice I only have a profile picture and I do not have a banner. So a banner here, this is the image that will appear across the top of your channel. So if I come back here to my channel, you notice I only have Josh and Josh fashions with no banner. So now how do we create a banner that will fit perfectly on my YouTube channel using Canva? So again, you notice that the dimensions for the best banner will be 2048 here by 1152 pixel and less than 6 MB. So you'll come to Canva, that is canva.com. And then on the top right corner here, you'll click on create design and then you'll type here 2048 by 1152 and then make sure here you select the pixels, PX. Don't select the inches, millimeters or centimeters, just select the PX and then you click on create new design and that will give you this new design. So what we now want to do is to make sure that we can create a banner that will fit so well, regardless of whether a person is watching using a desktop, using a mobile phone, using a tablet, whatever thing they'll be using, we want a banner that will not be cut off. So we want to make a perfect one for that. So we'll come back to Canva, that is canva.com, and the link to that is available in the description of this video. Also in this YouTube channel, we have other tutorials on how to use Canva and you're so much welcome to use them. So the first thing you'll do here, you will look for a background that maybe is dark enough, depending on what you want to achieve. So I want a background that is dark. So I'll come to elements, but if you want to use your own image, you can always come to uploads and then upload your own image. So in this case, you notice I had already uploaded some images here. So you can use those images, but in this case, we just want to use, we just want to use elements that are within Canva. And then you notice here, we can have photos here. So we can scroll and see any photo that we can use. You can also view the trending photos here and you can also use them as part of your background for the banner. In this case, we just want one dark, one simple color. So we are going to use that. And then we'll drag this to fill the entire canvas this way. And then we are going to right click and then click on set image as background so that that won't keep on moving. Now, the next thing you do is because you want an image that will not be cropped by whichever device a person is watching from, click on file and then click on view settings, then show rulers and guides. What that will do, you'll notice it has added rulers on this side and on the left hand side. Let's start with the horizontal lines. So you'll first come to the top here and drag a horizontal line up to the 700 mark. So this is 0, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700. That's where we have the 700 mark and then you release that. So you notice we have a thin line here added. Then the next one will go up to 500. Again, you drag it there. This is 400 and then this is 500. You drop it there again. And then now you come to the vertical lines and the vertical lines, you drag them from this side. The first vertical line, you need it to be at 400. So you just drag and you drop it at 400 mark. Now these marks, I'm looking at them from the edges at the top here. Here we have the marks for the 400. Here we have the marks for the vertical, for the horizontal lines. Then after 400, the next one line, you want to put it at 1600, which is here. You notice here at the top. So you drag this again up to that mark of 1600. Now, our area of interest is the center part here. This is the area where you can make a perfect size YouTube banner within Canva. Now, here you can now create 
here you can now create all the things that you need let's start with the text so i'll click on add text then i can choose add a heading then i'll type here to josh josh fashions and then we can now reduce the size of this text so that it can fit within this part that way and then we can change the color we can put this color to be white and then we can also change the font type whichever font type that you would want you can change it here on this left hand side so if now i'm satisfied with this one i can drag it slightly to the left hand side this way and of course reduce the size a bit and if you notice that your colors are not well visible you can always add a background to your text so you can do that by simply coming again to elements and then you look for a background you can look for a steel color we can add this one so we have that one there then we can drag this on the upper side so that we can have it just occupying the part for josh josh there and then we can drop it down slightly that way then now we can add other elements maybe we want to add some images this is where we can now add them you click on elements and then you can scroll down if it's a graphic you select a graphic if it's images you can add the images if it's the stickers whatever it is that you want to add you can always add it there but you can also come at the top here and type what you want maybe i just want to add a camera you type camera and this will give you cameras in terms of graphics and in terms of photos and videos so you can now look for whichever one that you'd want to use in this case i just want to use i just want to use this one so i'll put it there resize it and remember what we have just said the most important parts for this let's do, zoom this the most important part of your banner that will be visible is this part where we have drawn those lines so i'll reduce this to just fit that part and then maybe i can just look for another thing here let me just type model so you notice i have models here so so i can add this model there then i can just resize her to be smaller and then drag her at the top there so if you notice that your colors are contrasting if you notice that your colors are not contrasting well you can always redo this you can just drag this so that we have it well visible like this so now we have it there so remember our area of interest is just within this part so let's drag this one to the side that way now now we are going to click on share and then download then we download this as png and then now i'll come back to my channel then click on upload so that now i can upload the banner that i have just created here it is then i click on open so you notice perfectly where my banner has cut it has just cut the part where i just added the details that i wanted so i can click on done and now if i come back to this page here and then click on refresh you now notice how my banner looks like on my channel and it fits perfectly so that is how you simply make a perfect size youtube banner using canva kindly like this video share and subscribe to our youtube channel